Hello team, welcome back to Andy and Otto's Motorsport, and today, we're in the man van. Uh, yeah, I probably understand that that's not politically correct, but, pff, my van. Yeah, I do self-identify as a man. Never mind. Today, yeah boy, we're going to be doing the fridge mounting thing fridge is going to go in that corner um i say i've started already i kind of have i kind of haven't um i cut that to size sort of it's not perfect because at the end of the day it is a van and things curve so there's a little gap on that edge a little gap across the back but at the minute it's sort of pinched in there on this end and just resting on this lip of the box this end now because my back's hurting hence why i'm crouching down you're perfectly fine if you're under five foot in this van no that's not strictly true it is just over five foot but not much so if you're short you can stand up if you're a normal size human you're going to have neck or backache after working in this for a little while but it'll be alright so we've got that the compressor does go underneath I've already checked that one it is it's close you've got about an inch maybe three quarters of an inch 19 mil 20 mil um, but I'm gonna put the fridge on top of that so what I'm gonna do I think I'm going to make it flush with the the top of the box and I'm just going to put a support under this side jam something under that side and then uh, we'll go for a test run just going to screw that to the, the plywood in the wall um, sort of support it jam some bits of wood under this side I hate wood you get messy yeah and uh we'll have a go at that see how that gets on and i'll come back to you in a second so i've got the fridge in and like a complete idiot i didn't take into account that the side of the van tapers um it's not an issue i went with getting the board flush with the the top of the roll cap but it's in now see it takes a little bit of a yeah I just jammed some wood in there that's that can you see the big gap no gap big gap the side of the van tapers Bugger. Right, I'm going to have to do something a little bit more permanent for the box. Kind of didn't want to, but the fridge is in there. I've got a, uh, a baby catch. Hey, I opened it. And the door does open sufficiently. Yeah, it's a... 240 volt fridge it's like a little cheap thing from Argos I think it's like 30 quid but it does work and it does work quite well um, we've had it in the middle of summer which well it was that hot that there were drivers passing out after from heat exhaustion after the race this thing we were permanently ramming it full with water um, in the it's got a little freezer bit in the the top right that the the whole fridge we emptied everything out of it put everything into a cool box um had that plugged in and that was struggling that that was heating up at like two degrees an hour um and obviously it's inside the van which acts as a heat skin anyway um the cool box was heating up at like two degrees an hour and there was nothing we could do about it that thing bottles of water all day didn't didn't 
issue not an issue for it didn't break a sweat well it did break a sweat but it handled it absolutely brilliant so it has to come with us now not for the fact of you know it's really hot every time we race but it's it's one of them things that you now can't do without so keeps food more importantly keeps the beer keeps that nice and cold so what I'm going to do now is make the brackets to this panel more more permanent shall we say um, and I'm going to put a, a leg up the side of the box so if the toolbox does move during transport and stuff like that it's not going to fall down and create a mess everywhere so I'm going to do that I'll see you in a mo. well I've put that other leg up in there we'll just have a look so I've got a support there a support there oh hang on there's a bit of glare going on I've got a leg that runs all the way down to the floor and initially there's two there we go somewhere over there there's two bolt holes smack bang in the center of the screen um, and it's to bolt the handle on now this side I was going to bolt the this leg to the toolbox and then I decided against it this toolbox probably weighs the best part of five six hundred kilos fully loaded if it decides it's moving that little you know stick is getting broken now it wasn't so much for the fact of I'm going to bolt it to the toolbox to stop the toolbox moving it was more I'm going to bolt it to the toolbox to stop the leg moving yeah if that if the toolbox does move it's just going to smash the leg apart and the the thing's going to collapse and and it's not going to end well whereas at least at the minute the toolbox can't go that way because it's against the this horizontal shelf which is pushing into the the side the only thing it can do is go that way well if it goes towards the side door by the way this is strapped down when I'm on the road you know it's not just oh yeah shut the door off we go um, it's strapped down but it does move and jiggle so if it goes towards the door at least that is supported so it's not gonna start falling over and, and we're gonna have like fridge gas everywhere now I'm gonna get out before I fall out there we go and we've got a fridge in the corner and really really bad lighting there we go fridge in the corner powerpoint next to it thing compressor goes back under so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next probably about four hours running the cables to go from all of this stuff here there sort of behind the telly behind the fridge ah oh, that was another thing I meant to mention the fridge sort of fouls up in that corner so there is a substantial amount of room there is a substantial amount of room behind it for the the heat to escape and the other thing we'll just take a look around there you know it, it's one of the things that I had thought of as such right up there see that big gap with the light and the cable goes into goes into the front of the van so heat can come out of there it's not it's not trapped at all 
There you go, you got a close up of my lips. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Xbox back on top of the fridge um, and run all the cabling. And I think that was the last, the last thing that goes across here. Yeah, okay, I've got, um, I'm gonna have it like a battery bank underneath. I've got one at the minute. Um, I'd like another two, so I've got three leisure batteries, all 115 amp hours and I'd like to step up from a thousand watt continuous 2000 watt peak inverter to a 3000 continuous 6000 peak um, just for the fact of if anything happens or um, you know I rock up somewhere so late that I can't have the generator running even on eco mode um, which I have done before um, earlier on this year I rocked up to uh, where was it Alton Park yeah I've rocked up to Alton Park at like four o'clock in the morning and I couldn't get the generator out because it was uh, the big old style one um, and I didn't have the battery or I didn't have anything in it to turn the heater on so I ended up well I tried to get a few hours in the cab um, didn't really work well so I ended up just staying up until the morning and yeah that wasn't fun um, so yeah that's why I want that um, I've got a few plans in my head about maybe a solar roof on the solar panel on the roof but I'm kind of longing that one out for the minute mainly because it's uh, bit like this outside it's a bit horrible most of the time so when I get that battery in I can um, get the lights hooked up and then we can have power and all sorts so there we go it's taken me best part of 25 minutes of video recording to build a wooden platform for a fridge and talk about it yeah I'm good at this stuff <sighs> that's that more is coming if you like the video if you like what's gonna come when we get into hopefully fingers crossed when we get into the solar stuff there'll be a bit more detail involved that's a shelf if you like the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon ciao